Guess what smartphone will be seen today, guys? Yeah, you won't expect such a surprise, I'm sure about that. That's the BlackBerry Priv. That Priv stands for privacy and privilege. <laughs> I still remember the, <coughs> the advertising. Yeah, what was all the fuzz about this smartphone? Well, it was the first and actually the last smartphone di directly uh, produced and um, made by BlackBerry because the last BB10 smartphone was the Passport Silver Edition and this was the first and last Android BlackBerry device um, made by them. Lay, um, next to to him, we've got the, the various D Tech and then all the licensing smartphones produced by TCL and not by BlackBerry directly. So, <clears throat> uh, this smartphone was, uh, <laughs> I know it was so pricey when it launched, it, it costed over 600 dollars i think and um many people um, um complained about uh, its specs we've got a snapdragon 808 so it is it, it's not the top top um of that year that was the 810 snapdragon but this was an Exa core that was supposed to be less power angry, angry CPU. Well, <clears throat> I have to say that when I got it, um, like two weeks ago, I guess, because I, I bought it, use it, of course, I never had the BlackBerry Pro because at that time I was still, uh, in love be with BB10. And I refused to buy uh, an Android device, uh, not not thinking that not buying a BlackBerry device is uh, was was a bad idea because you are not supporting the the the, the BlackBerry, you know. Anyway, now you know that the history. They are history. <laughs> they are not producing any smartphone uh, anymore. Anyway. So it, it uh, got that CPU. Ah, uh, when I've got it, it was overheating. It was discharging very, very dramatically. So I've bought another battery and I replaced it. And now the, the it's all a completely different story. Now it uh, goes by five hours of on-screen time, and it's very good. Um, other than that, we have 3 GB of RAM, that's not a lot, and uh, 32, 32 GB of um, internal storage that can be expanded uh, with um, a micro SD card, and you can expand even the, the internal storage, but you've, you, you require a very fast micro SD card. Anyway, we have got 18 megapixel camera that was supposed to be good. Schneider and Kruznak. I don't know, it's a, a, it's a German brand. Anyway, I have to say that the, the, that camera, the rear camera is not so bad. What is bad is the front camera, unfortunately. And you've got a loudspeaker here directly to you, and that's a good idea. What's it will be cool if all this bear was, uh, all this um, part here was the loudspeaker, but it's not, it's only there. I guess that the microphone. Anyway, I have to say that talking about microphones, the loudspeaker, air speakers are top, top tier because BlackBerry is always focusing on that and it's real, reliable. Anyway, this screen is a good, good unit. It's an AMOLED, uh, AMOLED screen. 
and yeah, you got you see it's also court that was so so famous around that time you know the galaxy s6 uh for example it was cord it was a samsung idea but you know blackberry talked or talk all the um, you know the pop ideas are, are around of all that time and try to put it together and of course the elephant in the room it's the keyboard you've got this slider mechanism this i don't know if it okay this slider and it's so cold you see if i slide out the keyboard i can even unlock the the, the screen by pressing the space bar and so you go you see uh, i have the power button damage but yeah you see here and i can double tap and press the spacebar or i can block uh right and slide out and i unlock it unfortunately it no uh, you have to set a pin or a pattern a security pattern because it, it doesn't any uh, fingerprint here like the key one k2 so about the operating system you've got android 6 marshmallow so that is pretty old uh, it's not saying this pretty old but the good good thing is that uh, google still delivers updates to play store to google services and to the main apps so photos youtube the chrome uh, actually has stopped receiving updates because you see in the settings you got this version but they are mm, going forward with versions and i think that you on the priv won't receive any any updates and that's uh, unfortunately but it's uh, it, it, it's that it's like that anyway you see i've in, installed aliexpress ebay and all other applications even an emulator that it's very fun because you can play your games and set the the control the, the the input the input with the keyboard so you see i can move with the keyboard and that's creamy criminally good you see it's so beautiful to do that anyway let's see the shortcuts you see if i just press uh, it will open an application or ask me about what to do now and it's very very cool because if i long press the c letter i've um, set to open the camera or i can press one time and if it ask me you see it's so great and also i can i can customize to uh in the settings i can i can begin to, to type and it will open the research of course it will ask me google or ricerca on local research with the blackberry search you see it's so good it, it will even search in the file manager or the folders and so it is local and it's very good uh other than that performance wise it's okay of course <clears throat> i'd recommend absolutely to change battery because those those smartphones are quite old at that time uh, at now they are old so it's so many years uh all that ba those batteries so please change batteries uh, and it's not even that difficult because you see that's the main body of the smartphones that's the cover 
that's actually plastic. It's very easy to remove that and to change it and replace the battery. So you see I can move with the keyboard and <clears throat> and I will show you one cool thing about that because I can type I can swipe left to delete it and not here but if I uh, go to the notes for example uh, you will see that if I tap it will suggest me some words I can swipe up and so I can type quickly or uh, if I um, select the, the touch screen, the, the on screen keyboard, uh, the same thing I will type and swipe up and it will write me the, the, the words. Or you can double tap and use the keyboard as a, a trackpad. So it's so good. Uh, it's not the best keyboard, maybe, because I remember the, the Passport Civilization keyboard that was amazing, but uh, it, it's good. And that's uh, this uh, the idea of the slider is so cool. Um, I can <clears throat> let you hear some music, and because the, the last figure, I was, as I said, it's not bad. Let's hear. Not bad. And this button, it's a mute, the universal mute button. This this um is inherited by BB10 devices, and it's so useful. See. Mute and uh, the music still plays. So yeah, uh, about features. Well, I have told you about score chat. Good. All right. Uh, you can also set this. Um, if I swipe from the button, you you can see that's the research. That's the BlackBerry Hub. That was so good in BB10 and here on Android it's good. Of course it's not that uh you know implemented um uh, it was amazing on a BB10. Anyway, you see email still works fine and it will save the email account and you see it's it's manageable, it's useful. Uh if you know, uh, all those applications manage, creates, uh, produce a notification, you tap on that, it will open the, the app. Um, so the BB10, the, yeah, the BlackBerry Hub still works fine, and it's good, those widgets, you know, if I swipe up, it will suggest me that there's a, there's a widget, you see those three dots. And so we have talked about a lot of things. The camera. The camera is not bad. I've told you. Uh, let's see if I can show you some photos. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got some photos. Let's see this. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah. You see some sluggish. You see, it's not that bad, and colors are amazing because that's a an AMOLED. I told you, it's an AMOLED screen, and you can see all the beauty of this screen, and the details are not bad at all. So let's see if I can show you some other things. Yeah, that that too. It's amazing. It's not bad at all. You see, he, he managed those, those subjects good enough. You see, 
very very amazing blueberry. Even after all that time, ah, you see, we have got also um low low lights photo, and yeah, you have not you you have not got you don't have a night mode, okay? But <laughs> anyway, it's. It's useful in some ways, I can tell you. Yeah, the videos, the videos are talked even at 4K at 30 FPS or at uh, full HD at 60 FPS. You see, um, uh, let's okay. You see, it's it was low light, but it is fluid. It's not lagging. I mean, you can use the brief for to to take some pictures and videos. Actually, all right. I was in the dark. I've turned on the flash here, and uh, you see, it's not that bad. So, in conclusion, ah, uh, uh, I wanted to let you hear the ringtone because it's important to hear the ringtones where it is audio yeah nope all right so the brief was a masterpiece and I regret not buying it when it was launched because maybe uh, if more people uh, bought, if more people bought those smartphones back in the day maybe we could have still Blackberry even today. Anyway, it's a great smartphone, a great keyboard, a good audio and uh, some logical ways to use the smartphones and still it can be useful and great to use even today in 2023 for this video i've finished let's see again bye bye